Madame Rajavi, dear colleagues, first of all, I want to thank you for the opportunity to speak on behalf of the Spanish women delegation in this meeting to talk about uh, important issues for all women in the world. A Spanish women delegation with members of the parliament and, and the Senate, Dolores, uh, Inma, Carla, Luz Marina, uh, Virginia, Eva. The truth is that for decades exist in the region a despotic government that has served and serves as an inspiration for all those movements that now horrify us. All those movements fighting to gain political power by force of arms in their territories and also in neighboring countries. In fact, it was Khomeini who first raised the idea of caliphate. It was Khomeini who first said, we need a caliphate to impose the so-called Sharia law in all the region. A despotic government that has served and serves as inspiration for those who misuse religion to impose their political agenda or to, si or to simply impose terror. A despotic government that has served and is an inspiration to all those who try to impose by force of arms or corrupt politics a state in which women are regarded as inhuman and subordinate to men. This, this is not just uh, my opinion. All these issues are contained in the Constitution and Civil and Criminal Law of Iran, which certifies in an obvious way, in an obvious way, its misogyny with the belief that women are inferior beings who are unable to govern, to be judged, or to have any relevant position with laws that certify that the testimony of women is worth much less before a judge than a single man. Therefore, because inequality is institutionalized in Iran, in its laws, all this movement that now scandalizes us, whether Shiite or, or Sunni, have the Iranian regime as an example. For that very reason, any regression in condemning the Iranian regime, any agreement with the Iranian regime seeking to hide the reality of the despotic and cruel government, any step back in the fight for freedom in Iran will help the misogynistic model to extend through the region and even in democratic countries. So that is why it is our responsibility to prevent this from happening. And the best way to prevent it is to continue denouncing the truth of the Iranian regime. The best way to prevent it is to continue to support the brave women of the Iran resistance, the, the women in Iran, the women uh, around, uh, around the world, the, in, in, and especially, in especially, especially in my heart, the women uh, in Khan Liberty. In <laughs> women, the brave women engaging engaging their political model of equality and freedom to be one day a reality in Iran. Thank you very much.